Warm welcome to an another video session on gate tutorial. Today we are checking gate 2017 and during 2017 there are actually two sets of questions set 1 and set 2 which are conducted on morning and afternoon session. Today I am covering set 1 and we are focusing on network theory subject. Coming to the first question in the circuit shown the positive angular frequency omega in radians per second at which the magnitude of the phase difference between the voltages V1 and V2 equals pi by 4 radians is. On checking the circuit, it is basically a series RL circuit, right? Series RL circuit. So, being a series RL circuit, the same current must flow through all the elements, right? So, voltage generated must be proportional to the impedance only, right? So, we have to calculate the phase of it by this arm and similarly phase of it by this arm. So checking first of all this arm that is phase of it by 1 ohm plus 1 Henry. For that we have to first calculate what will be the impedance of this 1 Henry that is ZL equal to J omega L. L is 1. So that is J omega. So the impedance of the inductor is J omega. So the phase of it by 1 ohm plus 1 Henry is tan inverse of imaginary. Imaginary is omega by real. Real is 1. I am marking it as expression 1. Similarly calculating the phase of it by 1 ohm. That is merely tan inverse of imaginary by real. But here there is no imaginary part. So tan inverse of 0 by 1 equal to 0 degree. And I am marking it as expression 2. In the question it is given that the magnitude of phase difference between the voltages on V1 and V2 equals pi by 4 radians. That is pi by 4 radians equal to V1 and V2. Phase difference between V1 and V2 voltages. So tan inverse of 0 that is 0 degree minus tan inverse of omega. Right. In the initial part of the question it is mentioned as the positive angular frequency omega. So that is pi by 4 equal to tan inverse of omega right from that we can calculate tan 45 degree right tan 45 degree equal to omega that is omega equal to 1 so the answer is 1 1 coming to the next question the figure shows an RLC circuit excited by the sinusoidal voltage 100 cos 3t where t is in seconds we have to calculate the amplitude of v2 by v1 that is we have to calculate actually the ratio of v2 by v1 so ratio of v2 by v1 is again proportional to the ratio of the impedances right z2 by z1 and uh, first of all we so first of all we can calculate what is this z2 and z1 z2 is the impedance of this arm that is 5 plus 5 ohm plus 1 by j omega omega is given as 3 right cos 3 t cos omega t so 1 by j into 3 1 by j omega c omega c is 1 by 36 equal to 5 plus 1 divided by j 3 3 and 36 cancel so 1 by 12 so right 1 by 12 so that can again be written as 5 minus j 12 right 5 minus j 12 so i am marking it as equation 1 now we can check what is z1 z1 equal to 4 ohm plus j omega l j omega turns out to be 3 so l is 1 so this is z1 now we have to calculate actually the ratios of z2 and z1 so v2 by v1 and actually we have to calculate the amplitude ratio v2 by v1 so we can take the modulus of v2 to v1 so modulus of v2 corresponds to root of 5 square right root of real part square plus imaginary part square so root of 5 square plus 12 square divided by root of 4 square plus 3 square so simplifying root of 5 square is 25 25 plus 144 12 square is 144 divided by root of 16 plus 9 
So on the uh, numerator side root of 169 that is 13. 13 divided by root of 25. 25 root is 5. So 13 by 5. 13 by 5 equal to 2.6. 2.6 is actually the ratio V2 by V1. Right. Now moving to the last question from set 1. In the circuit shown the voltage of V in T is described by V in T equal to 0 for T less than 0 and it is equal to 15 volts for t greater than or equal to 0 where t is in seconds the time at which the current i in the circuit will reach the value of 2 amperes so we have to actually calculate the time in which the current in the circuit i will reach the value 2 amperes right so we have to calculate the time at which 200 amp inductor passes 2 amperes current right as it is a pure DC analyst based question, we can directly use the inductor charging discharging expression that is IL inductor current at any time is given by I final minus I final minus I initial E raised to minus AT. Right? For that, initial current is mentioned as 0. So I am marking I initial equal to 0. Right? And I final, the circuit during steady state after t greater than 0 turns out to be in this way right 1 ohm and uh, this is 15 volt right so the final current is just 15 amps right final current turns out to be 15 amps now we have to calculate a a is nothing but it is the inverse of time constant time constant here it is an rl circuit so time constant equal to L by R, right? And the inverse of L by R is R by L. So A equal to R. R is given as 1 ohm, right? 1 ohm and L. L is actually the parallel combination of 1 Henry with 2 Henry. So 1 parallel 2 is 2 by 3, right? So A turns out to be 1 divided by 2 by 3 or 3 by 2. So A equal to 3 by 2. Now we can easily substitute all the values. I final is given as 15. 15 minus 15 e raised to minus a t a is 3 by 2 3 by 2 into t right we have to calculate the time and the inductor current through this 2 henry is given as 2 amp the total current flowing through the circuit is actually we calculated right so we have actually calculated the total current flowing through this circuit now we have to calculate what will be the total current given that the 200 amp inductor branch conducts 2 ampere current that is it's merely a resistive type of problem now that is the 200 amp inductor branch conducts 2 amperes so 2 amperes is equal to total current i am marking total current as x x into opposite branch inductance value that is 1 divided by total inductance value 1 plus 2 right 1 plus 2 so x turns out to be 3 into 2 6 so 6 ampere current is actually flowing through this circuit so we have to substitute that 6 in this expression right so 6 now simplifying it 6 minus 15 minus 9 or 9 equal to 15 e raised to minus 1.5 t so 9 by 15 equal to e raised to minus 1.5 t from that we can calculate t t is equal to 0.3 for zero seconds right for more discussions on gate electronics and communication and similarly electrical related papers subscribe my channel so i am signing out till we meet again with an another gate paper thank you